What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I've got a Hisuian Typhlosion team, courtesy of Evan. Thank you for making this team, Evan. Now, the idea behind this team is you put Typhlosion in the sun, provided pro very kindly by this Groudon or this Whimsicott here, and then you click Eruption. Pretty simple. Uh, it's Choice Scarf, so it's much faster than a lot of stuff. This is a pretty fast team overall. Uh, but it also has Terra Grass Solar Beam. Uh, Terra Grass can get you around spores, it can cover a lot of your weaknesses, and Solar Beam can be a lot of surprise damage into some water types they might want to bring in on Typhlosion. The rest of this team, mostly good sun stuff, Whimsicott, Set Sun, Sets Tailwind, Walking Wake gets a speed boost uh, in this case, powerful Hydro Steam, powerful Flamethrower in the sun. Uh, and then this King Gambit is just a min speed King Gambit with safety goggles. It's there to patch up like Ice Rider and Trick Room matchups in general. Uh, and there's also a sturdy Rock Ogre Pond, which has picked up a lot recently. Anyways, I'm excited to get on to this battle. Uh, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, let's get on into it. Alright, we've got an Ice Horse, uh, an Amoongus, Ferrigraph, Incineroar, Urshifu, and Raging Bolt. Other than that Urshifu, King Gambit looks great here. Uh, we're min speed, so if they go with Trick Room and we're safety goggles too for the Amoongus, we'll be at worst a speed tie with their Calyrex. That's awesome. Uh, Whimsicott's less good here. Encore gets blocked. They don't have any weather control, so honestly Groudon's fine. Groudon would also help against the Urshifu uh, in a defensive way. If it's Water Urshifu, that is. Typhlosion's a must. I feel like a Typhlosion lead is great. Maybe Typhlosion, Groudon, King Gambit in the back, and... I want to say Ogre Pond? Ogre Pond, it's immune to Spore, which is good. Sturdy could help against the Calyrex. If I save Terra for it, the defense boost could help a lot. Unless their uh, Urshifu wants to crit through me. And we have Follow Me. Okay, yeah, and that's good against the Raging Bolt. Cool. This could work. Um, I guess... I mean, they have plenty of leads that can take an Eruption. But a lot of them, like Incineroar and Calyrex, if it goes Terra Fire, don't appreciate getting Precipice Bladed. Blades did. Blades? Precipice Blade. Okay, good... Trainer card. I, I was looking for a Pokemon in the background. It doesn't seem to be one. It's just you posing. Okay. You don't like Pokemon, huh? Alright. Amoongus. And Frigirath. We see a Citrus Berry. And a Rocky Helmet. And I cannot read that language, so I'm not sure who's who. But it goes in order. You send out your first Pokemon on the left. So from their perspective, Ferrigarath is first. So Ferrigarath is Citrus Berry. Do I just go for Eruption? Do I do a hard read and try to Solar Beam the Amoongus? That would be so funny. Uh, but not necessary. Uh, I think I will go for an Eruption. And I think I will go for a Precipice Blade. I don't see why not. Just go for it. Amoongus just protects. If I connect both of these, Ferrigarath... No, Ferrigarath might be able to take it, because the Eruption goes first, triggers the Citrus Berry, and then Precipice Blades might not get the KO. Ooh, yeah, that just just barely over half. No, that's definitely going to take the Blades. If we even connect it. And we can't get a doubled Stomping Tantrum because Amoongus protected. As long as... You, if you connect into at least one Protect, you don't get the doubled Stomping Tantrum next time. But it doesn't matter, we hit, and didn't KO. Okie dokie. That's fine though. I'm gonna tear a grass to try to block a spore and send another eruption, because I'm locked into eruption, and just bring in my safety goggles king gambit. You're not gonna be able to spore anything. Oh, oh, is this Calyrex? Tell me it's Calyrex. Oh, tell me you tried to spore. Oh my goodness, please, Spore. Do it. Do it. Oh, this is a game-winning play. If you don't Terra, and you try to Spore Typhlosion, I just win here. Come on. 
Uh, my Terra's going first. They're not going to Terra the Amoongus. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, okay. Turn off your console. I'm ready for the disconnect any second now. <laughs> uh, maybe they read this in Pollen Puff. Nope, it's Spore. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, good game. <laughs> oh. All right, let's see if this does this double KO. Yes, get out of here. That's a win. <laughs> Woo, Typhlosion. Oh, that's amazing. Alright, we've got, ooh, a Regidrago Zassian team. That's pretty cool. Uh, they have Whimsicott. So we may have to counter with our own speed control. But the Whimsicott lead is not bad, honestly. Uh, especially if they do, like, Regidrago, then we have to force them to think a little bit. So yeah, I like Typhlosion Whimsicott. Uh, Chiyu is scary, so I need Walking Wake and Groudon. I think these four are fine. Would I like King Gambit? No, King Gambit cannot handle Zacian. King Gambit cannot handle Chiyu. Uh, do I want Rock Ogre Pond? Rock Ogre Pond cannot touch a Zacian. Yeah, I need to bring everything I can that can touch a Zacian. I've got three months that it just walls, so... Wait, Groudon, Typhlosion, come. Um, I think this is the right order, too, because I need to match their Tailwind. Otherwise, Regidrago just becomes a problem. And it might still be a problem anyway. Oh, uh, I guess I could Whimsicott Groudon lead. And just, like, protect Moonblast or something like that. But no, this is what I want to go with. Uh, they might not go with Regidrago on lead. I mean, they could, but they might not. Yeah, and then I, I have the faster team. If we both match Tailwinds, overall my Pokemon are faster than yours. That's a nice shot. Because I've got the speed boosting Wake as long as Sun is up, and I've got the Scarf Typhlosion. Whimsicott Regidrago. Exactly what I thought I'd see. Alright, show me your items. Sash Whimsicott. Life Orb Regidrago. Life Orb Regidrago? That's not something you see every day. Uh, do I want to give up my Typhlosion just for some chip damage on these guys? I guess so. I can't really swap it in this position. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna erupt and I'm going to Tailwind. Uh, yeah, I can't risk them tailwinding because the Regidrago could outspeed Typhlosion. I could go for a Moonblast turn one, but then they could again tailwind and like Draco Meteor. Uh, no Terras from them. No Protects from them. Maybe I can Encore them into that. We get our Eruption off. That should bring Whimsicott low. That should do... At least it chipped Regidrago. What are you going to do, Regidrago? Earth power? Oh, they just go for a dragon energy. Typhlosion might eat that. Typhlosion did eat that. Nice. I think I'll save Typhlosion for later then. I'm going to go into Groudon. I don't think they would Dragon Energy again. Maybe I want to try to Encore their Whimsicott. Locking down that slot would be better than knocking out that slot. If I can get it, because like, I'm max speed, they might be max speed too, so this could be a speed tie. But they could also be going for like Moonblast to finish off that Lotion. So who knows. We got him. We're either faster, or they weren't going for a prankster move. Locking down that slot is huge. 
Oh, they did go for another dragon energy. Ooh, sorry, Groudon. This is gonna hurt a little. But only a little. Looks like we could take another one. Not that we're gonna ask you to. I think I want to get into Wake now. It's in a good position against their back end. And just Moonblast to take out Regidrago. Sometimes when you play Groudon teams, and I think this is why Koridon is a little bit better, Groudon seems to play more of a supportive role, where it just swaps in and out, keeps the sun up, tanks some hits, and often doesn't attack much. Whereas Koridon just turns up the tempo immediately. Are you really keeping Whimsicott in here? Are you going to Terror the Regidrago yet? No. Wow. Yeah, if you want to keep that slot locked down for the rest of the game, I do not mind. I will take out all of your side bombs while Whimsicott fails to Tailwind over and over. I do not mind that. Plus, mine's shiny and yours isn't, so take that. Shiny Pokemon are, like, faster or something. Okay, this is where you would burn Terra so that you don't get Hydro Steamed. Uh, what's the Encore looking like? Last turn of Encore, last turn of Tailwind. If they protect Chi Yu. Yeah, if they protect Chi Yu, they could get up another Tailwind. I'm gonna Moonblast their Whimsicott to make sure that doesn't happen. Because I can take speed control if I delete their Whimsicott. Oh, they swap Whimsicott out. There's Zacian. I knew you had a Zacian somewhere. And they finally do Terra. Okay. Uh, I assume Ghost in this case. Maybe Grass. Dark? Oh, I've never seen that before. Um, We might still be able to KO. We are Life Orb. Oh, uh, no. Close. I guess I should have doubled that slot. Oh, there's Scarf. Okay. Good to know. Let's see, Scarf on the Chiyu. So I can guarantee a KO on that slot if I just Tailwind and attack that slot. Because both Tailwinds are gone. They can't leave. Well, I mean, they could leave, but they'll lose Whimsicott for it. And then I can Tailwind here, and Typhlosion cleans up the game with Flamethrower. Yeah, because even if they get their own Tailwind back up, Typhlosion's faster. Yeah, this works. Cool. Hydro Steam. Tailwind. And then Zacian can only take out one thing. thing at a time. Um, I guess after they Tailwind, they'll be faster than Whimsicott, so they should try to take out the Walking Wake here. If they're gonna take out anything. But they have to take out something. They can't, like, Swords Dance. They'll get Encored into that. Yeah, Behemoth Blade. Just into Whimsicott. Fine. Oh, that's so fine. I think this is the last turn of Sun. Uh, Risk isn't gonna matter here, I know their items. Whimsicott no longer has one. And uh, you're holding a rusted sword. Doesn't look very rusted from my perspective. Okay, uh, last turn of Sun. I can't risk protecting because they could Encore. I'm just gonna Hydro Steam the Whimsicott. And I'm gonna Terra... I'm gonna Terra Grass Typhlosion specifically because they could... Oh, that wouldn't work. I'm Terra Grassing Typhlosion specifically for the very rare case that their Whimsicott knows Stun Spore. I, I know that's not gonna happen. But I have this Terra, it's basically free, I might as well click it here. 
Yep, you go ahead and Tailwind, but both of my Mons are faster than Azacian, so you're not going to get anything out of that. Goodbye, Winsicott. And then I assume a sun-boosted flamethrower takes this out. I mean, we're not Blaze, we are Friss. If we were in Blaze range right now, this would just explode his ass here. But it does enough anyway. Good game. Whew, Typhlosion's pretty good, I think. I like this. I like this, man. And GG's. And thank you for having a trainer card. Okay, we've got a Shadow Rex. Plus Mail and Didi. That's interesting. Chiyu, Whimsicott, Urshifu, and their own Rock Ogre Pond. King Gambit does well into the Shadow Rex, uh, but it's weak to Chiyu. Uh, we might have to answer Tailwind with our own Tailwind, and Typhlosion should be faster than anything on their team, unless they're like Scarf Chiyu. Because even Scarf Urshifu, we're, they are usually adamant, but we're timid, and we're faster than any Urshifus. In fact, we're faster than a modest uh, Chiyu, even. So I don't hate that lead. There's plenty that can go wrong. They have an extremely aggressive team. Uh, but I think that's what I want to start out with. Bringing Groudon, of course. Bringing King Gambit, probably. Uh, Walking Wake is interesting too, because it gets the speed boost. But I need all three of... I need all four of these. I can't afford Ogre Pond or Walking Wake. Walking Wake is really good here. In fact, I would say Walking Wake maybe instead of Typhlosion, but it's a Typhlosion video, so... Typhlosion's coming. I'm sure you've seen Walking Wake on a Sun Team before. If not, let me know and I'll, I'll do a Walking Wake video, but... Yeah, I think that's what I need. Chi Yu is probably the scariest thing. But we'll see. I, I, I like that character. I like that character. The uh, sh She puts up the axe and goes, That's just not right. Or whatever. Okay. Whimsicott Shadow Rider. Cool. Show me your items. Well, after you do the as one thing. Life Orb. And Covert Cloak. Well, okay. Do I survive Astral Barrage if I Terra Grass? Because I think I'm going to bait a Terra out from them because they have to fear Shadow Ball. So I need to go for Eruption. And I need to Tailwind. I'm Sash here. I don't know if Typhlosion would live in Astral Barrage anyway. And it might be in my best interest to go down since I'm locking into Eruption. They didn't Terra? I could have Shadow Balled? Aw, oh, man. Okay, hopefully this does enough damage anyway. They clearly were not expecting me to be Scarf. Oh, that doesn't do nearly enough damage. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. Well, I mean, it's I still have King Gambit. I'm sorry, Typhlosion. And we get the Life Orb chip, which is nice. Um, we could encore them into that, maybe. That doesn't really help. Oh, if I Encore that... Okay, they have Chiyu. Ah! Oh no, that's not Chiyu. Oh, I thought that was Chiyu. Okay. That's fine. That's great, actually. I mean, sure, I can't, like, Encore now. Or Sucker Punch. But I can throw a Kowtow Cleave, I guess, at Indeedee. Oh, nothing Whimsicott can really do with I. Yikes. I mean... I should attack Calyrex. There's no real reason not to. I'll Moonblast this way just in case they protect Calyrex. I knew they were going to protect Calyrex. 
What are you doing, Jordy? Well, that's not Scar. Oh, that's Squishy. Okay. All you got is Hyper Voice. That's fine. Um. Yeah, an Urshifu in the back could just spell my doom. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to protect Groudon here. I think they might just be like. Take the Groudon while you can and have something else deal with King Gambit. I'm gonna go for the Kowtow Cleave and to protect. But I'm not gonna Terra Groudon because Groudon could probably beat Water Urshifu. No, I'm not Terra Grass on this. Terra Grass on Typhlosion. I don't know. But they didn't Terra. They did go for Astral Brush. Okay. Assuming they still go for Hyper Voice or something with that Indeedy, we're probably okay. Oh, wow, that does so much damage! What? Okay, an expanding force, that doesn't do anything. Okay, uh, we got through the scariest thing. But we haven't won yet. Our Tailwinds will run out at the same time. Uh, I assume their Ndidi is faster than my Groudon. But we saw them change moves, they're not Specs. The horse had a Life Orb, so we know they're not Life Orb. Oh, and they have Chi Yu last. Oh. Okay. How much of this psychic terrain remains? A lot. Uh, I think I'm going to protect King Gambit just so that it doesn't go down and forces their moves to stay spread moves. And I'm going to terrify your precipice blades. I need to precipice blades. I, I can't risk reading a protector, a Terra, and going after the wrong target. I think to win this game, I have to connect both Precipice Blades. And they're gonna Terra, probably the Chi Yu, probably into like Ghost. Into Fire? Well, if I connect both, both Precipice Blades, I mean, I still need to live these hits. I feel like Groudon lives these hits, but I don't know for a fact that Groudon lives these hits. Uh, indeed, he should be faster than Groudon, the way it took that damage, I imagine it's max speed. So Groudon's gonna go last. Uh, I think they would Heat Wave. Groudon should be able to take that, but the uh, Heat Wave plus Expanding Force might take out Groudon. I don't know. Evan, how did you train your Groudon? Is this got special defense in it? Oh, we could also dodge Heat Wave, the way they can dodge Blades. Okay, we're not dodging Heat Wave. Eat it, Groudon. You do- oh, that's going down. We're 100% gone to that. Man. Ah, GG's. Uh, I mean, it's not over. I have dodge heat wave opportunities. Dodge a heat wave. Then I can protect out psychic terrain. That's my only chance. I, I'm probably not gonna- yeah, I didn't dodge the heat wave. Okay, GG. Ooh. Ooh. What could I have done better there? I'm not even sure. I just did so much- that- Calyrex just did so much damage. If I had Shadow Ball turn one, that probably would have done it. GG's. Alright, we've got a Koridon matchup. Sun v Sun. Uh, they have Fluttermane. Fluttermane in the Sun is faster than everything I have. Uh, they also have Tornadus for their own Tailwind. They've got Fire Ogre Pond, Amoongus, Cresselia. Mm, what's the Cresselia all about? I don't know if I get that. I guess, is it an anti-trick room on? I don't feel like that team really has much of a trick room mode, and Amoongus is the anti-trick room. Yeah, I don't get the Cresselia. Must be for specific matchups. Hopefully not this one. Typhlosion? Could be rough, because if they just go Sun plus Fluttermane... Well, they can't go Sun, Fluttermane, and Tailwind all at once. So Typhlosion wins a cat could get some stuff done. Bringing Groudon just because it's strong. And then what's my answer into their Co-Rhydon? Walking Wake? As much as I want King Gambit here, I think it is Walking Wake. Um, I'm a little weak to Fluttermane, but Groudon could Terra Fire, and then I'm not. 
the Koridon is a huge threat. Massive threat to this team. Like, Whimsicott scares it into Terra, so that we can hopefully assume they're going to save Terra for Koridon. Which is good, because then everything else is neutral to fire. Or worse. Yeah, okay, that could work. Force the Terra out of Koridon. Erupt as much stuff as we can. Oh, uh, a Koridon lead. Oh, that's cute. Shiny Ladio sleeping. It's like sleeping in the air. I guess it's a plane, that would make sense. Uh, it is a Koridon Fluttermane lead. Okay. We're gonna Frisk and we're gonna see Clear Amulet, Assault Vest, and Focus Sash. Life Orb! Okay, it's not what I expected. If you're Life Orb, you're Speed Booster. Okay, at least that makes sense. Um... I click Eruption. I click Tailwind. Good luck. We're gonna Terra right away. Did we bait it out of Koridon already? We sure did. Okay. They're AV, so they're not gonna take anything from Eruption. I don't think they need the luck. They, what they need... Oh, can Fluttermane live in Eruption in the sun? I guess we're gonna find out. I assume it could. I am timid after all. But getting this initial damage is huge. That was pretty decent. On the bolt. Alright, Typhlosion. Good job. You did... stuff. Flame Charge. Well, you've got Flame Charge to plus one, but we've got Walking Wake with a Speed Boost and Tailwind behind it, so we're fine. Whimsicott will be faster than a Speed Boosted Fluttermane. So we threaten a double KO here and force them to react. So we haven't burned Terra yet, but you have. Alright, so who are their swaps to these moves? Steam Eruption. Amoongus can eat that up. Moonblast. Fire Pond can eat that up. Sorry, not Steam Eruption. Hydro Steam. Uh, I'm not willing to risk it just yet. It's too early in the match. I'm gonna take the KOs in front of me. Oh! That was the right call! Okay. Phew! I, I was I was not gonna think too hard because turn one they just went for it, they hit the go button. So I figured a defensive play wasn't the most likely. And also I, well, I'm down, I wasn't technically ahead. I was technically down a mon, but I was in a good position so I felt like I was ahead there. And if you're ahead sometimes you just need to click the right button, not the predicting them. Like, if I had predicted the Amoongus swap and Flamethrower there, I would have lost a Pokémon and my good positioning. Like, immediately. Cresselia? And Amoongus. Alright, I'm happy to Terra Fire Flamethrower that Amoongus. That should be fine. Uh, and this guy has had weird items on everything, so I'm gonna also Moonblast Amoongus, just in case it's like Focus Ash. He had Assault Vest Koridon, and he had Life Orb Fluttermane. So there could totally be a Sash on that Amoongus, I don't know. This guy likes weird items. Alright, this is our Terra into fire. Walking Wake about to go in. And then if we just have them with Cresselia left, I don't feel very threatened. There's not much Cresselia can do. Yeah, no protect from Amoongus. Flamethrower... takes it out. Okay. Nothing weird there. Well, it could have been something weird there. As far as I know, it was Bright Powder. And then let's see what we can do against this Cresselia. Or rather, let's see what this Cresselia can do. Oh, they just go for a Psychic. Okay. My Encore is no longer on the board. So they can do whatever they want now. But I think we're fine. We've got enough power left. Oh, they're Leftovers Cresselia. Yeah, they got weird stuff. Psychic Leftovers Cresselia. What's the scariest thing it could be? Like, Moonlight? I think we have enough damage. 
Okay, Hydro Steam is 120 with Stab is 180. Flamethrower is 90, plus Sun Boost is 135, plus Stab from Terra. Okay, that's stronger. It's even stronger than Draco Meteor right now. Cool. Heat Crush is the only thing I have that does damage, so I also click that button. And battle is cancelled. GG's. Sun v Sun. You had some cool text there, but they didn't quite work out. Good game. Good card, too. Alright, okay. Clefairy. Calyrex Ice. Blood Moon. Solo Dozo. Amoongus. And Hariyama. Hariyama's cool. Hariyama is also uncool because it gets Wide Guard. So they have Wide Guard options, and they have Follow Me options. And then they only have one Trick Room setter. And also Safety Goggles King Gambit seems really solid if we can get rid of Hariyama. So I kind of like that. I'm definitely going to bring that. Um, what's my best bet for stopping Trick Room? Uh, they don't have any priority blocking, and I have Encore. Not Taunt, but Encore. That ain't bad. Uh, they have a Fake Out. But Typhlosion doesn't care about that. I think Typhlosion lead ain't bad. Just try to do some big damage. Maybe with Whimsicott, maybe with Groudon. And then King Gambit. I think those are the four I want. Uh, Cornerstone is okay, Walking Wake is okay, but they're like fast attackers. I think I want like bulky stuff. Like Groudon and King Gambit. I'm just wondering who the lead should be. I think I lead not King Gambit. I think I lead... Groudon with Whimsicott, King Gambit in the back because I can still Encore turn two if I swap Whimsicott in. And they'll probably let their guard down if I do something like that. Yeah, I think that'll work. And they don't even have a trainer card? Come on, man. Come on. You can do better. Alright. Clefairy Calyrex. Okay. In this case, I would need to eliminate Clefairy in order to get Encore to work. Focus Sash and Clear Amulet. Gotcha. Sash Clefairy. That's really interesting. Um. Maybe I just go for an eruption and bring in King Gambit? That seems like an okay start. I'll probably force out Terra, and I'm gonna intentionally leave Clefairy around so they don't get a free swap under Trick Room. Yeah, because the swapping in Whimsicott thing doesn't work because they can just redirect the Encore next turn. And there's no way for me to get a KO on Clefairy and get Whimsicott in at the same time. Uh, Protect from Calyrex. Interesting. Is Clefairy gonna go for a Sing? That would be terrifying. Oh, an Endeavor! Oh, King Gambit, no! Wait, you didn't go down to Sash? You ate that? With 5 HP? Bruh. Okay, well now it's bad if King Gambit is min speed. Which he is. Okay. <laughs> well, I still get to erupt. And then... If you go for Trick Room, you get punished. So this is- this might be okay. Endeavor! So you're telling me I should have doubled the Clefairy. Wow. That's cool. Okay, they're gonna swap that. that. That means they might give me something. King Gambit might be able to move depending on Clefairy's speed stat. Okay, Clefairy- did, well, Clefairy would have gone down to the eruption anyway, so this is a free hit. Um, with the friend guard up, Dondozo's not gonna take any damage. And they would have to be min speed Dondozo for me to get a hit off with King Gambit too. On the next turn. That was okay damage. I kinda like that. 
Uh, they're left over, it's fine. I'm gonna keep throwing eruptions until someone tells me to stop. And then... Maybe I get in Whimsicott here. Eruption. Bring in Whimsicott. King Gambit can still do some stuff late game with Sucker Punch, even though it's only at 5 HP. But Sucker Punch doesn't do much in this position, so... Whimsicott the Stern. Not how I really picture Whimsicott behaving, but alright. And then what do you got, Dondozo? Are you gonna try to finish off King Gambit? Are you gonna try to chip Typhlosion? Oh, Rain Dance! Oh, I don't care, I can set Sun right back up. Cool, I don't mind that at all. I can also Encore you into that, maybe. I don't know if that's worth it. Uh, you might have Oblivious, does that block Encore? I don't know, uh, I'm definitely gonna go for Sunny Day Eruption. Or I could swap in Groudon? No. A sunny Day's fine. That way Whimsicott stays on the field for an Encore next turn. No Terra! Wow! Okay, how much are we doing? Enough to the Ice Horse, let's go! And what do you got, Don Dozo? Uh, just a yawn into Typhlosion. Okay, Typhlosion, it's finally time for you to swap out. <laughs> uh. And you got a little leftovers back. Okay, I'm looking up Oblivious now. It doesn't seem to block Encore. I think it's just Taunt and Infatuation. Do I want to swap Typhlosion, though? I mean, it's not like they can trick room. I can I can, I can always set it back up for a sweep later. I'll go ahead and give them King Gambit for now. And... Moonblast into Dozo. I don't think, I don't know if Moonblast can take it out from here, but if it can, that's great. Getting it to a 4v1 would be amazing. Uh, though King Gambit's probably going down, so not exactly a 4v1. And we don't take him. Okay, that's fine. We'll get you next time. Uh, now you yawn into Whimsicott. And just Hyper Voice. Fine. I get my Typhlosion back in for free, and then I can bring in Groudon, and I can erupt, and everyone's happy. Beautiful. Have you? You still haven't Terraed yet. I don't know what you're saving it for. I mean, I get Don Dozo staying a water type. But the bear probably could have gone Terra Normal there. And your Ice Horse definitely should have gone with something earlier. Yeah, the Typhlosion, I already know their items. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, thank you for the PP ups, Evan. Whew. Really need them this time. Okay. And yeah, I don't want Whimsicott going to sleep. I'll just bring in Groudon. Uh, Eruption probably takes them both out anyway. But just in case of like a double protect, and then the maybe the bear does have a defensive Terra of some kind. Can't imagine what. Like, I've used fire before, but that was for a very specific weakness policy tech. Um, I don't think water makes any sense. Uh, Dondozo just protected anyway. Hopefully we knock out the bear. Still no Terra. Typhlosion, you're putting in some work here. Come on, knock it out. Uh, Life Orb will knock it out, it's fine. Typhlosion, you did great and you're still kicking. Wait, did you not go down to Life Orb? Didn't you have a Life Orb? You still got one? Fine. I can do 1 HP damage with this. And then... Dondozo will take that, so I'll just throw a Stomping Tantrum that way. A decisive victory for Typhlosion, but they're not they're not letting it go down immediately. Yeah, they're not going out without a fight. They're stretching this out as long as they can. 
Okay. Wonder if I can pivot around and get a Terra Grass Solar Beam into that bear. No, because they're gonna knock themselves out when they attack. Okay. Well, good game opponent. Uh, Endeavor Clefairy almost got me good. I'm almost out of eruption. <laughs> Maybe that's what they're going for. They want me to struggle, but I don't think that helps. Oh, battle's finally canceled. GG's. Uh, Alright, go get a trainer card and a Terra Orb, and we'll try again later. Alright, we've got an Ice... Oh, it's Pelipper. No. 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 Okay, uh, King Gambit seems good here. Except... Well, I mean Pelipper. And also, uh, Urshifu. Which is probably Water Urshifu. They don't have anything to block priority, which is good. Typhlosion doesn't seem to be the worst idea on lead. It'll at least give me some information with Frisk. I don't have to lock into Eruption. And maybe Whimsicott. No, maybe Groudon. No. This Pelipper could come in at any time and cause problems. I do want Whimsicott, because I feel like Encore can mess some stuff up. Uh, obviously I have King Gambit, and then I guess I need Groudon, but I also want Walking Wake. No, this one is not a Typhlosion game. This one is a Whimsicott... Wake, Groudon, King Gambit game. Is that right? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, this is such a tough matchup. We got a Sun Team and they got a Pelipper. I guess I should be fortunate that I haven't seen too many Pelippers. Sarah Ledge. Nice. I don't know why your Sarah Ledge is sad. This Pelipper is all over the meta, but... Okay, Water Shifu. And Calyrex. This could be, what, a U-turn into Pelipper? was your plan? I could sunny day. That would make me faster. That could be trouble. This could be coaching. I really don't know the right play here. I'm gonna Sunny Day Draco Meteor. Okay, no Terra- Ah, oh, I could have gone for Terra Fire Flamethrower. Is that what you're telling me? Alright, tell me at least this knocks out Urshifu. Nope. It has plenty of health left. Oh boy. Coaching Trick Room? There's the coaching. Show me it's Trick Room. Do not click Glacial Lands. Oh no! Ouch. Oh boy. That is not good. And they got another attack boost out of it. Because if they had Trick Room, I could have encored them. Route on here. Guess I could swap in King Gambit and Terrifier. Precipice Blades, but it's not going to be enough. Oh. I was thinking the play. I probably could have won with Sunny Day, Terrifier, Flamethrower, turn one. I would have done enough damage to Calyrex. Because they didn't Terra. Man. Does that mean they're Terrifier? 
Okay, they're swapping out here. They're gonna bring in what, Pelipper? I don't know what that is. Yeah, there's Pelipper, finally. I knew they had it. But I'm not really using the sun, so I'm not too worried about this. Uh, I guess my fear would be Weather Ball can now blow up Groudon anytime. <laughs> so I guess I am a little scared. Oh yeah, I don't know if I'm winning this one, guys. A crit precipice blades could do it. Listening game? At least it connected. And at least it's just a glacial land. At plus two, which is gonna blow up every okay. No, we're fine. Um, do they just weather ball Groudon? And high horsepower King Gambit? <laughs> What do I- what can I even do about that? Maybe my Groudon's faster? Groudon has some speed on it. Pelipper is 117. Oh, we're faster than Modest Pelipper, so maybe we just go for it. Sucker Punch. Stomping. Get a double crit and win. Alright, what's your Terra? Show me fire! Ground? Oh yeah, we're gonna get high horsepowered. <laughs> we could still double crit. This one crits? Okay, no. This one crits? No. Yeah, both of my Pokemon are go- oh! They went Weather Ball that way. Which crits? There's the crit! <laughs> okay. Okay. And then you- oh, just Glacial Lance? Not even high horsepower? Fine. 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 Wait, Groudon's still alive? <laughs> I wasn't even looking! I assumed Groudon was gone. You're telling me there's a chance? There's not. There's really not. What could I possibly do to have a chance? Moonblast crit. Stomping crit? I don't think a Moonblast crit would even knock out a Pelipper. Could a Moonblast crit knock out Calyrex? I don't even know why I'm still playing this one. Maybe they protect Pelipper because they don't know what, what to do. Oh yeah, Pelipper swapped. Okay. Okay, I doubled into the right target. Hang on, is that in stomping range? Hang on, come on. It is. What? I still don't win, but... Why are you giving me a chance? Uh, it must be Scarf Urshifu. And Rock Pond. They just throw an attack at each slot and what can I do about it? If they throw an Ivy Cudgel at Whimsicott, I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't just Aqua it. I'm more in it than I should be, but I'm not in it. <laughs> like, let's say they click Surging Strikes onto Groudon, and Ivy Cudgel into Whimsicott. I just took out your Urshifu. You're giving me too much. Just win the game. Why are you making all the wrong plays? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I definitely still don't win. They have options. They have follow me into Weather Ball. They have... I can never kill a Pelipper because all I have is Heat Crash. Last turn of rain. There's no reason for me to not protect. You're giving me way too much here.
<laughs> oh, they're just playing with me, aren't they? I'm just behind too far, too far. Like, I've been playing to my outs, and my outs have been working, but there's just way too much ground to take to make up. And I could've won with a turn one flamethrower. Ah. It's crazy that they would've let me do that. Okay, we do that. Maybe they go for hurricane for some reason, because they don't think weather ball works when it's not raining. Okay, now they go for weather ball. Maybe we live because it's so weak. No. Okay, finally! Finally we're down! Well played, Groudon. You did great, actually. But Pelipper just- this team can't handle Pelipper. That's just the way it is. Okay, good game. And good card. And we're back. This is my first run in the new month. Uh, I'm recording this on June 1st. Uh, we didn't quite make it to Master Ball. We were very close, and then... Not quite there. Uh, we went like what four and two if those four wins were straight in a row We would have been master ball, uh, but still this team did great. Uh, I love it so much It's actually really strong. Uh, so go ahead and try it out if you're a big Typhlosion fan like I am uh, But it's probably my favorite starter from my first game, which was crystal uh, But anyways, I'm Jordy and uh, all right peace